Hey guys, Paradox back with another one. So I'm actually going to bring to you today what I have pioneered called the Freestar Fee or Front Engine Accessory Swap. What a Front Engine Accessory Swap is, is it's done in things like 2J Swap or LS Swap or RB Swap, whatever, to get your engine accessories for streetability of your car. So I'm just going to get right down to this. People think that this is very complicated. This is actually very, very simple. It's taking more things off your car than you're putting on. So when I get right down to it, you're going to have a passenger side accessory bracket and a driver side accessory bracket. These are held down by what are going to be two 15 millimeter screws. There is a 13 millimeter screw held behind this tensioner and another 13 millimeter screw held down behind this power steering pump. So that's a total of four screws. You're going to have three, these two 10 millimeters right here and this 10 millimeter right here will release your tensioner. So I pull that off and it exposes those that bracket bolt. This power steering pump with a custom AN fitting for Hydro Boost. Um, this is held down by four 10 millimeters that are instantly accessible from the top. So, I mean, if your power steering line's in, you can't access this one unless you have a flex head 10. So, that comes off, literally, and then that's this whole side. This side is the alternator, so you got two bolts and another bolt that hold the alternator down. Once the alternator's off, with the belt, you're gonna only have these two 15 mil bolts. This is another accessory bracket that I just stuck my thing uh, from my car on that I've just been working on looking at this. This bolt is the other 15 that goes here, but it's broken off halfway through this because I got this block from a junkyard and it was just ripped off and everything that was going on. So, and there's no way to get the bolt out. I've tried welding and it, it's like seized in there. So it's on the block sticking out. I'm just using it as reinforcement to hold this down. Should be three 15 millimeter bolts. Uh, the power steering pump, it's the same exact thing that you have on the Mustang except for it is shorter to the block. So like when you see, I originally had a can, but I could set it right here and realize that this is the width of a can from the engine where the Mustang accessories are, you know, the length of your forearm. So when you have this short stout water pump, it's the same removal as your Mustang. Like, so you're going to have these 13 mil um, <clears throat> stud bolts and then you're going to have the 10 millimeters that are on the other ones to get the water pump off with the Freestar you do have to take off the actual face this is just takes off really quick and you have a few other bolts down here you got to get at but they're all 10 millimeters or th 10 mils or 13 stud bolts um, so that takes the water pump off you need a bolt type pulley remover we're going to move on to the water pump or to the harmonic balancer. You need a bolt type pulley remover to remove this. That can be had at Harbor, for, Harbor Freight for $20. Uh, you just bolt it into these. Sorry, the burn of my hands. Um, you bolt it into these three slots right here and you pull this out. You actually just crank it in there and you take out your harmonic balancer. And so when you take all the things off of the Mustang and you're able to put these on, it's a very swap in and swap out easy procedure. There's actually only what I've noticed to be a total of three major things that you gotta deal with. So we're gonna get to the simplest one first, as well as this is a Freestar thermostat outlet housing, but you gotta get that too. So that just comes straight out. Um, so this is the very first thing that's an easy cut off. So this is initially when you see it all the way up and out over to in front of the outlet of the housing for the thermostat. So it, it's literally a nub cut, so you can take one slit with a grinder and cut that off and it's done. So that is really problem number one, done. Like when you're putting your water pump on, you'll see it, like you'll kind of see the nub and you'll be like, oh okay, I just cut this off, it's super simple, it's not on the gasket, there's no issue with that at all. So. On the whole fee, here comes problem number two, is, is with the Freestar power steering pump, the outlet for, or the inlet for the reservoir 
to the pub housing is aimed in the wrong way. So like unless somebody were to put it on this side of the car, you could easily put the side on the car, but the thing is is that atmospherically it's going to be lower than over here. So where you have the fulcrum of this housing, what happens is, is I've dealt with these fittings quite a bit. I'm usually able to hit this housing with a torch or with my last one I actually just did it by sticking a piece of rebar in here and bending it like so I was able to because this is a low pressure side this is the high pressure side going to your rack or your hydro booster this is your uh, low pressure side that's going to your reservoir so like as long as this stays like atmospherically the same you're literally pocketed to what's going to end up being like right into this area where you have space in your engine bay that's right where my hand is in your engine bay so I would heat it up or if not you could probably even just stick a piece of rebar in there in it and um, spin it. I hit the other one with RTV and I haven't had any leaks in nine months driving it. So that's how you aim this. That's problem number two. That's really the only big deal. Like, I mean, when you think of that. So this all ends up becoming an issue that's a, for somebody who works with cars, a swap in and swap out. So what goes on is, is this is a voltage regulator and this separates the RPM of the spinning pulley to the work with the bull signal that variates the direct current to the battery to charge the battery and tell it if it's overloading the battery or if it is uh, under full charge so it's able to charge the battery. Um, so it's basically a voltage regulator in a mini circuit. Um, there's these bolts that you see right here that's very simple so in order to remove one of these bad boys yeah you do need another different the serpentine pulley remover but to remove the back cartridge all you need is once again your 8 mil right here it's gonna be one two three four on the back of this and literally this back piece comes off super simple and um, you have to take this piece off too. It's going to be a 10 mil right here and it's going to be I believe a 10 mil on the inside of that that brings this outer piece off and this whole housing just clicks off. Now when you see this I'm going to have a whole nother video that goes over specifically the alternator on the fee swap. So we're going to get back to that at a different time. Um, when you take the alternator apart, all that really takes is a piece of a can to take it apart. You really can't fuck it up. It's brushes. So there's brushes on the inside that I that you'd stick the piece into, and it would take the voltage regulator out. Um, but with that, so one, two, and three, you're able to put the brackets on, and use a Duralast belt that I found works perfect. Is going to be 715K6 Duralast. Multi V. That runs and drives. With a GT Hydro Booster, the twin tur turbo fits. So with downpipes, this drops in. There's no more things in the way. It's really not a big deal anymore. Like it's not. And it kind of brings the rotan rotational force closer to the engine. The fact that. Um, once you have the balanced balancer, it will have all of these different things that are closer to your engine, closer to your engine and spinning, uh, as well as with the different uh, idler pulley and the air conditioner gone, that it will have less pulleys to make residual loss of the power of the motor. So in the end, with this, it actually is an overall upgrade for the car, and it's very cheap. This whole setup cost me $140 with the belt. So yeah, I got the rest from the junkyard. The brackets were $40 uh, for both of them. The alternator, yeah, I had to use the Mustang voltage regulator, take out the Mustang one and put it in that and then brought it out of the junkyard with that one in it. Um, the power steering pump cost me, I believe it was $25 or $30. Uh, water pump is only 10 and I got the whole assembly. Um, and then the tensioner was like another 10. Um, so it wasn't really expensive to think of everything else. And then, um, so when it comes to the water pump and like this whole setup, the last thing you think is the water in and water out. So like you gotta get the Freestar thermostat housing that's gonna take a universal straight over to your Mustang radiator. And then you're gonna have at the bottom 
you can run this pipe. So basically, like, this is what I have attaching the Freestar one because I use all custom coupling and I run power hose because then we're not going to have anything have issues. So with this, I can detach this. This is what I put in here to hold this hose on. And once I do, I can actually put the Mustang lower radiator hose directly into that and it fits. So, and then you would put it on with a clamp up to there. And then, oh yeah, on mine I have it all in a clamp up to there. So, that's literally the whole fee. Once you put that in, that's in 10 minutes, a whole breakdown with every bolt of how you're going to be able to put any turbo you want, any system you want, any anything you want under that hood fits after you put that there. I'm putting a Mark 8 fan with twin turbos in this after this on this V6 and it still cost me less than $500. So, fuck Matt Hyde, praise New Edge Tech Support. Peace out.